You want great sounding mixes? Then you need to start here. I'm going to show you how to use one. Welcome to the Rhythm Studio, where we're talking percussion, music production, music technology. I'm Warren Henry. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button and the alert bell so you can be notified when we release new videos. That said, let's get into it. There's a lot of talk about mixing in Pro Tools. Tons of tutorials on how to get a great mix, three tips to a great mix, how to mix with pink noise, that's a new one. Tons of information, but very little on industry best practices on getting a great signal. Well, here's a commonly agreed upon conclusion. Great mixes begin with properly recorded tracks. Tracks that have achieved a maximum signal to noise ratio outside of the box. These are instruments recorded using outboard mic preamps calibrated to what's called unity gain. You might be asking, how do we get our recorded signal to unity gain? How do I know if I have perfect levels? How can I tell if I'm overdriving or underdriving my mic freeze? The answer lies in one of these, a test tone oscillator. I use a Phonic PAA3. You can use the free iPhone app signal generator. The results are all the same. So let's get started calibrating all of your outboard gear to achieve the best signal to noise ratio. First, on your interface and other components in your studio, check for meters. Some components may have meters, some components may not have meters. The object is to get the zero dB reference level coming out of the oscillator to equal the suggested mix bus output of negative 18 dB in Pro Tools. Feeding a 1K tone at zero dB into the mic pre, bring the gain level up so that the meter on the mic pre references zero dB. Now check the Pro Tools channel metering to see if that meter is now referencing negative 18 dB. Margins of plus or minus 4 dB are okay. Next, check the Pro Tools mix bus metering to see if that meter is referencing negative 18 dB. Again, margins of plus or minus 4 dB are acceptable. One thing you want to keep in mind is that you have just set unity gain on your mic pre. However, if you find yourself in a situation where you need to adjust the mic preamp gain down significantly, then the source that you're recording may require padding of 5 dB or more. Congratulations! You have just calibrated the first stage of your recording chain. Review this video if you need to, and check the description below for more information on this subject. That's all for now. Like this video by giving it a thumbs up and sharing it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for stopping by. And oh, don't forget to say hello to the family for me.